So what we're trying to do is find ways to grow seaweed that are climate resistant. So what's happening is the water temperature all around the world, and especially in the Philippines right now, has already gone up by like one degree. So because of that, uh, traditional seaweed farming is becoming less and less viable, and there's whole seasons where people just can't farm anymore. So we're developing technology that enables seaweed farmers to continue farming despite uh, climate change. seaweed um, doesn't need the sunlight for 12 hours a day so why don't we try and lower the seaweed into that nutrient zone. So we found around 110, 120 metres deep is our happy spot and we can lower the seaweed down to that area at night time um, so it can suck up its nutrients for the 12 hours during the night and then in the morning we bring it back up to the surface so it can get its photosynthesis and grow with the sun. So the quality should be as good, and I think the growth rate should be much faster than even traditional seaweed farming. And the big advantage is just the stability, so they'd be able to grow 12 months out of the year instead of uh, relying on those like dwindling good growth seasons. In theory, it should be something that we can roll out in across Southeast Asia and across the world as well. Traditional seaweed farming has been a way of life for decades for people in Philippine coastal communities. But the industry has been beset by a raft of problems, none more serious than sea temperature rise. And farming operations that once harvested a thousand tons of seaweed a month can now barely manage ten. And it's not just happening here, but all over the world. Maipikto, naipikto, kana uwan o ginit, mo init sa, kana init kayo, init man ang dagat. So, mapiktohan ang guso, masakit, like uh, as ice. Hindi ako na wala ng pag-asa kasi ito ang hanap buhay namin. We need to closer the gap between the result of our science to the farmers. And actually, we're already there. And most of the farmers are very um, receptive with the technology that we are presenting to them. Because first and foremost, that's their livelihood. And if, um, if, and if that, um, that technology could able to give them higher production, higher biomass, they will uh, accept it. We are buying the seaweeds for our bistimulant production. So we have now an extraction machine here, the hammer mill. Then after we extracting the juice, we will ship out to Cebu for bottling. So the product that we have called Bigro, um, we are 
disseminating it or introducing it to rice farmers. So the only way uh, that is the only way that they can uh, increase the income because the cost, the farming cost will be reduced uh, compared to using uh, chemical fertilizer. Thank you.